What up, everyone? Welcome to Music, the only real music news on the internet. All other music news related news is probably not even real. Um, a lot of fucked up shit happened in the past month since the last music episode, uh, such as the following. So now let's get right into uh, the current music news of today, which is this. Uh, sensational pop musician known as uh, Lordy uh, released a new album where Vincent Van Gogh painted them. Uh, but the, the real news story is uh, Lordy's relationship with Taylor Swift in which she compared being friends with Taylor Swift as like someone like with AIDS. Which, from what I've heard and read and seen and heard and seen, is actually true. Um, but what's even more bigger news about Lordy is that she has a, a secret uh, onion ring Instagram, but it's not a secret anymore. Um, but my favorite thing about Lordy is when she dresses up as a man and uh, reviews fast food on YouTube. Now, now that's a woman that, that I like. The Billboard Awards are also last month. It was a self-congratulatory circle jerk amongst all of the biggest Hot 100 Billboard artists where they all uh, sang their songs and gave each other awards. Cher was there. I like Cher. Cher, hit me up. I like you. Justin Bieber did a thing where he didn't know his own lines to his song and just said blah, 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 but people are still gonna listen to him. So Tupac released a movie. He came back from the, the dead and he released a new movie where he uh, apparently uses FL Studio has an iPhone, fucking uses a fidget spinner, does a dab, and all this other crazy shit that Tupac probably never did. You should watch it now in theaters. In other news, Electric Daisy Carnival in Las Vegas, another uh, person died at the rave because, you know, it was in Las Vegas and it was super hot and there was like 100,000 people all in this one little spot. And as we all know, Las Vegas is actually a physical manifestation of hell on earth. I mean, yeah, it's like super hot, Everyone's drunk all the time. You have like fast food joints of all places everywhere and you could you could uh, get a lot of gambling and, and have sex with uh, pro professional sex people. So yeah, Las Vegas is hell. Um, I've never been there, but if I do go there, uh, I'll show you guys what I do. But yeah, so someone died, I'm sorry, uh, to EDC. Uh, maybe they should install, I guess, speakers that shoot out water at people. Oh yeah, so then also the, the demon that was possessing Miley Cyrus jumped out of Miley Cyrus and is now in Katy Perry. And she did some like problematic shit that people are talking about, but whatever. I really like that song Power off her record. I fuck with that song. The guy who produced it, uh, what's his name? I think his name's like Jack. Hit me up, I like you. So yeah, uh, DJ Khaled was booed at EDC because apparently he had technical difficulties and then uh, DJ Khaled blamed it on uh, the actual promoter saying that, that they did it to him on purpose because they're jealous of the father-son love that he has for his son Assad, giving him like, you know, all the, the parental memeage that, that you need. Oh yeah, then there was also this YouTuber who was acting 14 year old girls for uh, fucking butthole pictures or whatever, which is really fucked up. And uh, he used to do uh, acapella covers of pop punk songs. And it's like, dude, if your hair is still in 2007, like, there's something wrong with you, man. Uh, SZA released a new album that's super vaporwave. Check that out. Look at it. That's vaporwave as fuck. Is it not? Um, Kesha got rejected, uh, which is really awkward for Jerry Seinfeld, which ended up becoming a meme in itself for like a short period just because Jerry Seinfeld is that that vibrational level or whatever he does just becomes a meme. Um, there's also the XXXL freshman cover, which which to me is a lie because like everyone there, they weren't even XXL. Like I was probably the fattest like person there. And it was fun. Uh, we all got accepted to rap university. I got a scholarship in beat making because you know I make the sauciest beats. Um, and I'm also majoring in trapping, which apparently is like, you know, the number one thing you gotta do when you rhyme really good is you just gotta trap. And I'm gonna minor in ad-libbing because I realize I don't have that many ad-libs. Like I have like E and ooh and A, but like I need to, I need to develop more skills to like, you know, fill in the, the beats and stuff. Oh yeah, and then um, XXX Tenny Shion got punched in the face. Uh, I put that in the collage. Uh, there was a terrorist bombing at Ariana Grande's concert. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, Chris Cornell killed himself. Um, those were like the shitty news stories of the past month. Um, so yeah, if if you wanna if you wanna contribute to music, 
make your own music report because I get a lot of people being like, hey Frank, you don't talk about the indie shit. You only talk about mainstream shit. I don't want to hear about that. Well, it's hard because like nobody shows the indie shit. Like indie shit's really underground because you guys suck at like you know mass uh, publishing and mass fucking getting the word out. So if you want me to talk about your local scene, your local band, your local this, your local that, upload a news report or just talk about it and uh, tag it as music and upload it to YouTube, and I will watch it and react to it accordingly. Cause that's always fun. That's the, that's the trend is watching videos on videos on videos on videos on videos on videos on videos. So yeah, um, I'm going to be at VidCon uh, this week, so if you're at VidCon, hit me up and we'll, we'll make some sweet memes together. I spent a really, really ridiculous amount of time making this thing, so enjoy.